We have our profile and we have our tone capture. It's officially time for the rock. be interesting to compare the tone capture feature with the profiling of the camper and what I did in the jam is actually profile and tone capture this amazing amplifier the victory amp and it somehow I think the tone capture was pretty awesome it was very close to the profile of the camper but still the technology is a little bit different so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you guys and walk you through the process of getting the tone capture off your amp and then quickly run through the process of profiling and setting up your camper to profile the, a tube amp without a cabinet. Mark Zippon. All right, that's coming up next. We're gonna go first over the knobs real quick and I'm gonna explain how they work. The preamp live is basically a collection of all the 12 mini pedal preamps that Moore has released, but here all in one box. We've got three banks and four preamps per bank. We're getting into it now. We've got volume, bass, mid, treble, gain and boost. In boost mode we can see we've got pre and post. How we access it is by pushing down the knob and it switches between the two. The boost and pre means it's more like a tube screamer pushing in front of an amp. And post means more exactly getting to the effects return it's a bigger volume difference overall. It's perfect for lead sounds and really cutting through the mix. We've got a cap sim and uh, we have a software interface so we can access different mics, speakers, uh, positions of the mics, it, plenty of stuff, pretty cool. Now, what the tone capture does, it allows us to capture the essence of the amplifier. It's not like profiling with the camper, it's more like getting all the characteristics right of the frequency spectrum in the gain stage. Now, I'm gonna try to capture all the characteristics and essences of the Victory Amp and then compare it to the Camper profile, which has the same gain stage. What we need to do is a four cable method. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. The tag goes into the input. The effect sand of the preamp live goes to the input of the amp. The effect sand from the amp goes to the return of the preamp live. And then the output of the preamp live goes to the return of the amp. And that's exactly how we do it. Now, when we capture, we want to blend together two similar sounds. So this is the victory sound. So now I'm gonna to try to find something that sounds close enough to my amp sound. All right, let's start with bank one, preset one probably, right on. Good tone. And if we want to activate the boost, we just press and we can adjust the boost. I 
And in case we want to have some noise gate, we just hold onto the boost knob and then it turns into the noise gate section and we can dial in a little bit of noise gate and pre or post, depends how we want it. All right, let's go on to preset two. Preset three, clean tone. So to switch the banks, we just hold the two knobs two and three and we go on to bank two and the decal is changed and if we want to go to bank three we hold three and four together and the decal is changed to yellow so we're going on to bank two and preset one checking out the sound I think I'm gonna take this one, it's bank to preset free. So guys, now how we do the capture is we hold button one and four, like this, and we're here in capture mode. Button one is the source tone, that's the preamp life right here. All right, button two, it's the preamp of the Victory amp. And now I have to hit the capture button and it analyzes the whole preamp, the gain stage of the Victory amp and sort of blends it together with the preamp live. So while I do hit the capture button, I have to play the guitar. So here we go. Now, when I press the capture button, it's the tone capture. Okay, so how do I activate it and save it on my patch is I hit the activate button and here it is, I saved it on my patch. Now we've come pretty far, we've created our tone capture and I already created my profile from the Victory Amp on the camper but not to bore you guys to death, I'm gonna go and run quickly through the process of profiling an amp. We want to switch to the profiler mode over here, this is the first step, so these two switches allow us to switch between the camper amp profile that's currently loaded and the reference amp which is in my case the Victory Amp, then we hit next. We want to pay attention where we can choose between distorted, clean or no cabinet. That's when we're doing a direct profile without a cap, which is how I did it. So I hit that. We hit start profiling and we've created our profile on the camper. So guys, that's it for right now. I hope you enjoyed it a little bit. You got some useful information and it's quite remarkable how far the digital technology goes and how easy it is and accessible to get a good guitar sound. If you like this video, you can obviously subscribe to this channel Leave a comment, a like, uh, hit the bell button if you want to get notified by new videos that I upload. And yeah, I hope you have a nice week ahead and uh, talk to you soon. Uh, cheers!